people. I have some things to do today. I've actually, I feel like I've been pretty productive already today. Of course I didn't film any of it. I did film some clips of me doing laundry, so I'll add that in a, in a minute. But my main goal today is to have zero amounts of dirty laundry in the house. I have the washer and dryer running right now. I've had an issue with my dryer this morning, so hopefully it cooperates for the rest of the day and I'll be able to accomplish my goal. Um, I also want to like kind of re, not redo, because I, didn't, I haven't done anything with it. You know, I recently moved in and I just kind of shoved everything in the laundry room and said, let's move on to the next room. So I bought some baskets and stuff to uh, put in my laundry room. I need to like organize in there. I guess that's a good word. Or I need to organize my laundry room and get my stuff together. I bought a piece of artwork for it. I know. This is me getting my life together. I also ran into, I went to Target for one thing yesterday. You know, that can never happen. I ended up walking out with two bags full of plastic. <laughs> I found some really incredible stuff in the Target dollar spot. All kinds of different uh, bins to organize, so I figure I will use those in my bathroom. My bathroom is atrocious. Um, there are clothes all over the floor because of course, I haven't washed any of my clothes yet. I'm just working on everyone else's because, you know, we always put ourselves last, don't we? So that my goal is just laundry room, bathroom, those are my areas of focus today. I also think I'm gonna make some food with you because tomorrow we're meeting my family. We always meet once a month, it's our family dinner, just to catch up and stay connected and love on each other, you know. But because we're fun, we always make it a themed dinner. And this month's theme is, Keto? <laughs> it's like New Year nude. I forgot the word the wording. Is my hair already falling out? This isn't great. Anyway, I forgot the wording for it, but I'm gonna make some keto dishes. I I have no idea what I'm gonna make so far. Pinterest is gonna help me out. Let's head to my laundry room. That is my main focus for the moment. You know, I tried my best to like put a messy bun up. I was like this messy bun is gonna be great. And then it falls out within like 30 seconds. I've got to, I had I just have too much hair. Okay, laundry. Oh, it did it again. All right. So it keeps reading sensor, which means my clothes are not drying. So then I thought like, okay, I need to clean my sensor off. And I did that. It better not be broken. Oh my gosh. If my dryer is broken, it might tip me over into like the losing my mind category of life. We've had to deal with literally every appliance in this house just falling apart on us. These are still wet! Ugh. It says it's drying. I don't believe it. I have clothes that are waiting to be dried and I have clothes that are waiting to be washed. Okay, well, I can't have that running while I'm filming. That's not gonna be great for you, but I guess I'll give you an overview of what the laundry room, oh, great. Stepped on a toy. Give you an overview of what it looks like before and when I say before I mean as of right now because this morning I took a clip of the mountain that I have the mountain of laundry that I had so I sorted through most of that obviously there's still remnants of it down here is what I need to focus on and really deal with because like I don't know, what the heck is this stuff even? None of this stuff really belongs in a laundry room. Well, I guess maybe the light bulbs. First of all, I don't use dryer sheets. I'm trying to use these up. I bought them like four years ago. They smell fantastic. It's Method Beach Sage. Ooh, I wonder if they have laundry detergent that smells like this. I'm trying to use like all free and clear stuff, which, okay, I'm hold on, I'm getting too sidetracked. Well, who cares, have you met me? Where are they? Maybe they're up here. Yes, I've been using these. Let's be kind together, they're laundry sheets. They are dryer uh, sheets, but uh, no, hold on, they're not dryer sheets at all. It's a laundry detergent sheet, but it comes in like all recyclable stuff. You know what I mean? So better for the environment type of thing. They work fine. Uh, I don't know, they're, I don't know. Anyway, I still have all of this stuff. What's up there? I don't know, I can't read it. What are we talking about? Light bulbs. Um, how often do I change a light bulb? Hardly ever. Also, do we even have Anything that holds a light bulb this size, probably not anymore. We used to have a ton of lamps around our house and now we have uh, zero. So I don't even know if we need these light bulbs. Needless to say, they should probably go up there where I will never access them. These are my grocery bags. And then down here I have some more grocery bags. 
And um, this thing that I maybe will hang up on the wall. I don't know, I got that from Ikea. A bin full of socks that I refuse to sort. A bin full of bathing suits that when people come over they can have, but surely we can put that in like the linen closet that has all of the pool towels. This, don't ask, I literally, what's, what's even in this basket? Nothing, it's useless. What's in here? Uh, garbage. All right, what's in this basket? So much crap, so much crap. Oh, okay, so when we moved, we were going through boxes and I was, oh, <gasps> artwork. Anyway, we have so many frames, so much like artwork, well, kids' artwork and stuff. I'm like, what do I do with it? I don't know, so I ended up just shoving some stuff in baskets and whatnots and like, what is that? Oh, cool, I'm trying to decorate, didn't work out. All right, what's over here? Oh, artwork that I had in my old laundry room. But actually, this quote is quite inspiring, but it just looks too ridiculous in our laundry room. If you're still in the process of raising children, be aware that the piles and piles of laundry will disappear all too soon, and that you will, to your surprise, miss them profoundly. All I'm saying is prove it. Not sure I will miss the mountains of laundry. Ooh, look, the laundry co. Oh, look, my great, great Aunt Sue. And then, like, where is that from? Our hallway? Moving on to this cabinet down here. Just a bunch of crap. This drawer has, woo! Scared me. Alex is changing out a light. Uh, what does he change? A battery. <laughs> Way to go. A bunch of tools. This drawer has a bunch of my tools. Can I put that in the garage? Most likely. This cabinet, we've been there. I can't reach that. This cabinet, I tried to put, well, don't ask me. I don't know what I tried to put in here. This glass container is empty. I've got some cleaning products. I have some bins full of who the heck knows what because there's no labels. Oh, look, tippy toes. Oh, okay, laundry detergent is up there and some gloves. Oh, one more down here. That's my little garbage can. And we have some of our summer stuff, our beach bag and pool bag and stuff like that. I guess I'll give you a shot of what this side looks like. Pretty bare. I do have a basket I plan to hang and some artwork and then hopefully I can tidy up this area. What's under here? Oh, this is supposed to hold ornaments. Got it from the Goodwill. Okay, what's down here? Oh, cool, packing supplies. Oh. When I'm packing my next package, I'm definitely gonna say, oh yeah, that's in the laundry room. Wait, there's a shelf back there, some cones probably could go in the garage. Oh, some empty soap. Yep, that's great to have around. Ooh, bug spray. We were looking for this the other day. Carpet cleaning stuff, which I was also looking for the other day, and our cauldron. It's a great spot for that. Needless to say, I have my work cut out for me in this laundry room alone. I did go to Home Goods and Target, and I grabbed some baskets and stuff. I don't know, so I'm gonna bring, well, what should I do first? I should probably clean this crap up, and then I'll bring that crap in. <laughs> it's all crap. First things first, I'm gonna put all the clean clothes, gosh, I can't even take half a step without stepping on something. I'm gonna put all the clean clothes in this basket, all the dirty clothes I'll put in this basket, and I'm gonna get them out of here. This place is looking great already. So down here, I'm just gonna grab all of the uh, bathing suits, and I'm gonna bring these to the linen closet. Great, I found a perfect spot for it. Moving on. I think this blue basket will fit up top. So I'm gonna put all the light bulbs in here just to try to like contain it, you know? Up we go. I should probably get a stepping stool for in here. And you know what, I think I may have bought one. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that out. We'll bring these down. Oh look, perfect fit. I mean, I guess I can just bring these books in my daughter's room and call that a day. This is soap. This is like handmade soap. I'm gonna bring this somewhere where someone will actually use it. Probably no one will use it, but at least it's pretty. One basket down, a couple more to go. Actually, there's two baskets down. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this crap. So, in here, I have stored some essential oils but I had no idea that they were in there. 
I don't know where to put them, so I'm just gonna put them here by my dryer balls, which is where I use them, but if I'm being honest, I don't really. I normally just throw my dryer balls in the dryer. Speaking of, I also, I've got some over there, and then I have some over here because I thought I was like organized, buying all these jars, I thought I was a certain type of lady. Turns out I'm not. Like what, <laughs> who, which child made this? And like where do you keep things like this? Um, okay, so that's fun. What else is back here? Oh, a mask, not so fun. And some old pictures. Ooh, anyone remember Furbies? Actually, does anyone have actual pictures that are printed out? <laughs> Memories. I'm kind of at a stopping point right now. I don't know what my next step is. So I think I'm just gonna like, <sighs> I don't know, take everything out and then try to figure out what the best place is for everything to go back into, right? Surely I can store our beach stuff in the garage because we don't go very often. Our wet bags and all that stuff, but look what I found. When I was unpacking, I thought, oh, surely I'm gonna remember that I put this in the laundry room. It's like a prank box. I never used it. I wanted to use it for Christmas. These are all cleaning products. I'm gonna bring them out here. Okay, how do I have this much stuff in my laundry room? Like, some people don't even have this much stuff in their entire house. So here's my plan of attack. <laughs> I thought I had one, turns out I don't. I'm gonna bring in the stupid baskets that I bought. No, it's not gonna organize anything because they're literally just laundry baskets. Lord help me. So I was watching Jordan Page and she has the most incredible laundry room and her system is to have a laundry basket for each child when she's sorting her laundry she just puts the clean clothes in the basket and then the kids take it away when i sort it i just sort it into piles and then bring the pile to the kids bedroom and then they put it away so we're going to try this system also now i'm not sure if all the baskets are going to fit <gasps> they fit no they don't <gasps> they're too big I'm not gonna fit three in here. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Oh, that was an oversight, but you know what? Plan B, I bought another set of baskets. These were quite affordable. Uh, turns out it doesn't matter because they don't fit. These are the other baskets that I bought and I kind of feel like these aren't gonna fit either. Let's try. Oh, you know what? They might. I like these baskets too. No, they won't. Oh, well, they will if I force them. Okay, well, I'm wearing to force them. I like these baskets because they're affordable and Target has had them for several years. So I've used them in different parts of my house. So I know whenever I need to like organize the same space, I can just buy more of the baskets if I need more. You know what I mean? Sweet. Oh, wow. I need one more. I have one more. I need to figure out a way to label these because they are like a wicker, not wicker, but you know what I mean, a weave. They do sell label tags that I saw Natalie Bennett use in one of her, like I think her pantry organization video. So maybe I will go run and buy those. I don't know. But for now, I'm just gonna leave them as is. I also feel like that's so much storage space that is wasted. We'll see if I actually implement the system of like, oh, taking clothes out of the dryer and just throwing, I don't know. Man, if I'm being honest, I don't see myself doing that. You can train an old dog to do new tricks. Okay, moving up. I bought this lovely piece of artwork from Home Goods. It was on sale. It was still a lot of money for a piece of artwork, uh, but I feel like it was less than I would have paid at like Ikea or someplace. It looks huge, but I don't know if it's big enough now that I have it in here. Anyway, I think I'm going to try to hang it up. Bring some color in the space. I need two thumbtacks. I'll be right back.
Woohoo! Now we have something delicious on the walls. Do we like that? A piece of artwork? I feel like it's nice, nice colors. I also have this basket that I found from the Goodwill. I think I'm gonna hang it above the dryer and maybe put my dryer balls in here or lint, I haven't decided. But I think it'll be a handy little place to have a basket. Just right there, right? Is that okay? Boom. Tim the Tool Man Taylor, who? Okay, but now we have to contend to the important stuff. <laughs> Actually, no we don't, hold on a minute. We have to see if all the dryer balls fit in here, right? Hey. Now we can get rid of this dumb drawer. Did I say drawer? I mean jar. <laughs> like it holds three, what am I gonna do with that? And ideally, these are usually all in my dryer anyway, so. Ooh! Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Scared the crap out of me. Now I have this sweet little basket that I used to use for decor around my house, and I just don't have a table to put it on. Um, so yeah, I don't, oh, maybe I'll replace this piece of crap with it, because this metal thing is kind of starting to rust. Um, yeah, it's hard to clean, so. As for the rest of the stuff, I haven't a dang clue. Well, you know what I kind of do because this used to hold all my Tide Pods. There's something so delicious about this smell of laundry detergent, but in the same token, I'm like, it can't be good for us, right? But I burn candles every day, so. like to use the free and clear Tide Pods, but they don't sell those at Costco. So this is what I have. Fantastic. I do have free and clear Tide Pods, but I put them in this little jar. So there's that. What else do I have? I've got OxyClean. I guess I can replenish this. <gasps> scoops. I bought some scoops. Let me find the bag I have them in. I know I bought scoops, I'll be right back. Look, because look, I used a measuring scoop, but then the handle broke, and so, whatever. It's functional, but is it cute? Yes, also yes. Okay, I found the scoops. They say they're good for scooping flour, sugar, rice, and ice. Nowhere on there does it say OxyClean, but I don't follow rules. Baking soda, and I think this is Tide powder. So I'm gonna replenish these jars too. Oh great, I never even threw this handle away. I guess I thought, oh, maybe I'll fix that. <laughs> nope, no I won't. this stuff would be to go like is it up there is that easily accessible didn't I have two of these oh there's one right there I might put some Tide Pods in here since I just have more and typically when you buy them from Costco which is where we do they come in like 700 packs like a month supply for us and I would rather have like a smaller canister buy the wash that's easily accessible than having to like take this thing down every time I need to throw one in. I think I'm also going to put the borax. Really my kids just use this to make slime and I've used it to strip diapers and stuff. I cloth diaper so I use it to strip diapers in the bathtub and stuff so I'm just going to put this in here because the box is pretty much an eyesore. I mean, I've had this one box forever. I don't know why I never put it into a container before. Plus I have an empty container, so why not? Good. Okay, what's next? I have some kind of microchip for a computer. I have no, guys, this has been floating around this house and our previous house for years. I'm gonna give it to Alex and it'll probably continue to float around our house and then how did this get in here? I don't know. Ooh, you know what I've been enjoying lately? Spray and wash. I recently discovered um, that stains don't need to stay on your clothes if you are proactive 
in spraying them. I used to have an OxyClean stick. I use that a lot, but I found this. So I think I'm going to put it in this pretty jar. Will I remember to label it? The jury's still up. I probably should. I do have a cricket. Hashtag non-spawns. Perfect. Um, I do need to label this because um, I, I have like two other spray containers. What are these? Spray jars? Whatever. Cleaning sprayers that I use like an essential oil cleaner with it. A natural cleaner that I love so I don't want to use this on accident. So I'm going to get a real fancy permanent marker. If I had my life together, I would print out a label or something, but look how pretty this periwinkle blue marker is. Wait, is my face in focus? You guys, I'm the worst. What should I put on here? For stains. Oh, it doesn't work, that's great. <laughs> Looks like my two-year-old wrote this, but now I'll be able to know what it's for, right? Good enough. So Ooh, now I can get rid of this. It's coming along, it's coming along. Ooh, a Skittle. Don't mind if I do. You know what this place needs? I'll be right back. A candle, cause that's not a fire hazard at all in, in a laundry room. Um, I just thought it was fitting. Linen breeze. A candle next to a bunch of chemicals? What could go wrong? <laughs> Ooh, the ambiance. As for the rest of this crap, Alex went on a shopping spree for magic erasers so i think i'm just gonna put them all in here because they've just been floating around like this is a lifetime supply of magic erasers oh speaking of vinegar hey i can uh fill this guy up vinegar and baking soda are great uh natural cleaners so i always have them in the laundry room also vinegar is like the only thing to get slime out so there's a tip. Maybe I should look for a better jar, cause like what happened to this? But it's been working for us, so I'll keep it for now. Ooh, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna start putting some stuff away where I feel like it belongs. I have no idea where anything belongs. <laughs> wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more. Need you here more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah, should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time? I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop, can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument, so I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase. Everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah I always knew that this would happen Yeah You would find a new distraction I need you more It's coming along. I feel like we're at the home stretch. There are a couple of things that I'm unsure about. Over here, there's that like wicker basket. I don't know what it's called. It's this thing, okay? But is it too close to this that's like the same tone? Should I move this over here and hang it here? It looks like they have something here. And I can definitely see where they hung something there. I, th I don't think this is going to stay this piece of artwork, but anyway, should I hang that there? Or should I move this? Come on, Kim. Everyone's watching, everybody's waiting. Or should I move that right there? Huh? I feel like we'll keep that because I already have the nail on the wall. Okay, I tidied up the sink and I put everything away. I just have to contend with all of this like crap that I no longer need. Um, I'm gonna bring that to the kitchen and then this is all garbage and then that's like laundry and stuff that doesn't belong in here. Unless you think we should hang this laundry sign in here instead of the artwork. What are you? 
Which one looks better? I don't know, man. Neither. That's that's what I'm going with. I just swept the floors. You tell me, does it look better with the laundry co sign or the artwork? I think I'm gonna leave the artwork for now. I'll just give you an after shot. Oh my gosh, my belly is rumbling. It looks so much better, mostly because it's clean, you know? And then I'll give you the after on this side. Like really what feels nice is that I know the cabinets are clean, you know, and everything's tidy. Even the sink is clean and I actually have soap in here that I can wash my hands with. Cause sometimes I'm doing laundry and I get like chemicals on my hands or whatever and I just want to wash. Oh man, you know what? That candle, it really does something for me. It not only smells good, but it's like fresh. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Open the dang windows. Let's open. I've never had a window in my laundry before. Let's get some fresh breeze up in here. Ooh. Oh, now it's a laundry day. I can hear those birds chirping. I love when the windows are open. Oh, so fantastic. I feel so fancy fresh with that. And uh, I'll probably never light it again for the rest of my life. <laughs> but here is a peek into the cupboard. Doesn't that just look fantastic? Oh my, Pinterest who? I mean, I'm sure I can get better jars or whatever, but is this Pinterest worthy? Yes. Is this Pinterest worthy? Yes. How about down here? You betcha. I just threw a bunch of random crap in here. <laughs> And these empty baskets, oh wow, really doing something for me. And then down here, I just put the oversupply. Um, I am gonna get child safety locks for these. And then I didn't even touch these drawers. I'm sure I could find a better use for them, but for now, this is working for me. I'm so glad that this is over with. I've been dreading, I haven't been dreading doing this, but I knew it was going to take a lot, a lot of time. Um, by the way, I got this candle from where? TJ Maxx or something? It was on ah! candle wax. House of wax? Who? Oh man, I got it on the jar. Anyway, did I tell you this candle smells absolutely amazing? It was $12. It was on clearance. It wasn't worth it. It was not worth it. Okay, totally fine. Brand new again. Now it's on the floor. Ugh. It's in the grout. It's a mess. Okay, I think I got most of it up. Uh, did you know that there is a trick for if you ever spill um, nail polish on the floor? I think you're supposed to douse it with either sugar or salt. You can Google it. And it just like sucks it up. Anyway, can I sleep in here now? <laughs> it's incredible. I cannot explain to you how happy this makes me. Just like a clean laundry room. Doesn't mean there isn't laundry to be done because, um, hello. It just means that maybe I'll be more inclined to do some laundry. That's probably not true either. But this is, I mean, basically the laundry room of my dreams. I, can you ask for anything more than this? This is heaven. I've been standing here for way too long. I don't know if it's the smell of the candle, the breeze that the windows are open, it's so beautiful outside, the noise of the dryer. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love what we've done here. Next up, we need to tackle my bathroom. I just walked in. Listen, this is a judgment-free zone, as always, so I expect nothing but that from you right now. Um, all right, let me show you around. <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom. Yes, um, this is me trying to decorate. <laughs> I did not buy anything to decorate in here or even hang towels, which that's not working out for us. Clearly, I need a laundry basket or something. Although, I feel like once I clean out my closet, I mean, that's where I'll primarily be getting dressed and like, putting my clothes, but right now it's full of boxes. It's on my list of things to do, you guys. It, hopefully it happens very, very soon. I'm, I'm planning on going to Ikea like tomorrow. So I'll, you'll see an Ikea shop with me. You'll probably maybe see a haul. I don't know, probably not. And then I will start implementing the items that I buy from Ikea to organize my pantry and my closet. That's besides the point. I did buy some crap to organize my bathroom. Just some like containers from Target. I already showed you, so. Let's tackle it. I mean, we discussed the clothes situation. These are clean. Um, okay, I don't know what this drawer is supposed to be for, 
maybe jewelry? <laughs> I don't really have jewelry. I have like costume-ish jewelry from Target. So I don't know, maybe I'll do that. I keep my hair stuff in here. I don't really know what I keep in here. Oh, deodorant. These are empty from Lush. Just trying to collect five. Oh, the, this is from my eyeballs. <gasps> Speaking of my eyeballs. You guys, I thought I had bolifaritis. I went, I've been like on and off going to the eye doctor for literally my entire life. I started wearing glasses when I was like 18 months old. I had eye surgery. And anyway, I thought I had bolifaritis because that's what I was told. So I'm like buying all this expensive crap to combat my bolifaritis. I, I bought like eyelid scrubbies and like eye drops that are without preservatives. I was told that I was allergic to preservatives, which I probably am, which are in my contacts. So essentially I'm allergic to my contacts. Anyway, I found out I am also very allergic to, do I still have some? Here it is, this. It's like the only stuff that will get rid of my acne, it, but it has benzyl peroxide in it. This is over the counter, which is ironic because I used to use prescription benzyl peroxide until I got pregnant with Avelina and then I stopped using it when I, because I, I don't think it's safe while you're pregnant. And so anyway, fast forward like, I don't know, eight years, I started using this again because it really helps my acne. I don't know, I, listen, I'm an adult and I have wrinkles and pimples. It should be illegal. Who can I sue? But that's what I have, so I do my best to deal with it. Anyway, I am very allergic to this and the allergic reactions, you should Google it. I've even taken a picture of myself, but it's like buried in my camera roll. I doubt I'll be able to find it. My eyes get so swollen and red and irritated and crazy. I finally figured it out. This is it. And I used to use, I didn't put it on my eyes just, and at one point I just put it around my chin cause that's really the, my problem area. It didn't matter. My eyes still puffed up like an elephant ear at the fair. It was miserable. So ask me why I still have it. I, I have no idea. Couldn't tell you. I've got a lot of sticks of deodorant. Why do I have this much deodorant? Promise you I don't smell that bad. Oh, down here. I didn't think about organizing this. Um, so I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> Maybe I'll like fix it and actually put the drawers in here. Listen, when I unpacked and moved in, I just shoved everything in here. Those are, that's my bag of essential oils. Oh my gosh. Those of you who collect like Thrive Living or whatever the heck it's called, doTERRA and, and Young Living, you're like screaming at me. But um, that's fine, it's fine. Also, I have a cute little shelf that one of my friends made me to hang my essential oils, but I don't know where to put it. I feel like that's too high. This wall is not big enough. I'm not gonna put it there, I really like that picture. So I haven't figured that out yet. All right, let's open this drawer. This is really just where I keep my glasses case, which I rarely use. I just leave my glasses up on the counter because that's how I live my life. Toothpaste, toothbrush, and then Maybe a razor. Wow, it's so sanitary in here. Second drawer, let's, oh, this is my makeup. This is all the makeup I use. Everything else in here, I don't use, so really I could get rid of. Down here is also stuff that I don't use. <laughs> when my sister passed, she was really into skincare and beauty, and I got a lot of this like higher end stuff from her, Murad, which is like, okay, there's a story behind that. So she was really into makeup and skincare and you know, Ulta, Sephora, all those places. Um, she would always get her hair dyed. She always like got her nails done and stuff like that. So when I was younger, she used to take me to like get my toes done, like get a pedicure or something. So it's just fun that even now that she's passed, like she's still pampering me, which is, I don't, like Kate Somerville. Oh, I can't afford this stuff. It's so crazy. She had like Too Faced stuff. Like when we were going through her things, um, the sister-in-laws and our nieces and stuff, we all got together and, you know, took the things that we liked. But she had so much stuff when it came to like skincare and stuff. So I've used this Glam Glow mask a couple of times. I remember when this was super popular in the YouTube space. Oh my gosh, Drunk Elephant. Like all the higher end skincare stuff, I'm like, what? I thought Aveeno was nice, you know? <laughs> I thought Oil of Olay was high end living. I also have some makeup in the back that like I bought this and hate it. 
and I never use eyeshadow mostly because every time that I do my face puffs up and I regret it every time I used it on Christmas I thought oh it's a nice occasion let me throw some eyeshadow on worst decision of the holiday season for me okay so basically I just have a bunch of crap that I don't use in this drawer and then up here I have a couple makeup brushes that I also don't use and then some stuff. I do use this dry shampoo, which by the way, I finally found a dry shampoo. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I used this one time, thought it was dry shampoo. Nope, it was hairspray. I had to take a shower. And then a few days later, I thought this was dry shampoo. Bought it because I thought it was dry shampoo. It says volumizing air dry spray. Uh, nope. It is also hairspray. Had to take a shower. Happy to report I finally went back to basics with good old Baptiste. I normally have the brunette kind, but this fresh scent, the breezy citrus, smells so dang good. And I always get it from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls and it's always a good price. This is like the value size, um, 8.47 ounces if you're wondering. Because some of you said, oh, it's like cheaper at this place. And I thought, oh, well the value size, I don't know. Anyway, here's a glimpse into my past life. Glamour shots, what? <laughs> I keep that there to remember myself how glam I am. All right, so what are we gonna do about this crap? I guess step one would be like getting these clothes out of the way, right? Okay. These two, and already it's gonna look way cleaner. I'm not even sure if these containers that I bought are going to fit into the drawers. Oh look, that one, this one will this way. Okay, good, uh, because I'm learning that when you like compartmentalize things, they stay more organized. I don't know, man. This is how we do it. By the way, these containers were all a dollar. This one in particular was one dollar, but it has two. More than I would like to admit. Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah. You never break, you never lie. You never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase. And everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. It's almost like I can't stop. Yeah, yeah. Well, come to find out, none of the organizers fit in here, so that's a bummer. I'll keep my eyes out for a really low organizer. Okay, so far so good. Things are going well. Now we have to tackle under there. And I don't even wanna mention this. This is like a whole other beast. You know what, it doesn't look too bad, but uh, once you dive into those baskets, there's no rhyme or reason for what's inside each and every single one of them. <laughs> By the way, I got a ton of these containers because I plan on organizing the kids' bathrooms as well, so it's not just mine. Okay, now we've come here. Well, I guess number one, once I put this together, the rest really won't look that bad. I have got some empty contacts. Oh, where am I gonna hang this? Isn't this so darling? <laughs> Don't know why there's a mouse in her bathroom, but there is. I'm 
Well, that basically looks the same. Definite progress was made today. Mostly just moving the clothes <laughs> makes it look and feel better. Uh, yeah, all right, cool, 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 cool. Did you see the drawers? Ooh, wow, so organized. How long will they stay this way? Who knows? Probably longer than the laundry room, I'll just say that. <laughs> oh wait, one more. Ooh, ah, uh-oh. All right, this still looks like that though, so. Okay, it's been a couple of hours. Kids got home from school. We ate a lot of boiled peanuts. We played outside, yada, yada. I'm in the girls' bathroom right now and I'm just gonna go through their drawers. They are, you know, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's like bath toys on the bottom so I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. I don't wanna keep them in the bath because when the bigger kids take a shower, it's just not, like I don't wanna step into a shower with like toys everywhere, you know? Okay, quick tour under this sink, ooh. We have a nice shelf, some soap refill, extra soap, uh, face soap, shampoo and conditioner, and a brush. Cool, I'm probably gonna leave that alone. These are the bath toys, and then conditioner and shampoo for the little one. This is full of, you know, girl things. This is, ooh, wow, oh, it's kind of already organized. And then under here, where I keep the cleaning products to clean. Really, the kids mostly clean, and then who the heck knows what's in there. You know what? Upon further inspection, this place looks in tip-top shape. <laughs> Maybe not this drawer. Okay, we'll give it a refresh. Actually, look what I did here with the flowers and such. Oh, from Goodwill, so sweet. <laughs> Although we do still have Christmas stuff out. It's a problem. Oh crap, I forgot to press record, but you didn't miss much. I'm just emptying this drawer. Some of this stuff is empty. It's like, does anyone know where a garbage can is? Okay, I feel like I didn't do much in here, but I did give it a little refresh and I feel like it's good enough, right? I left all the toys the same and just organized down here a little bit, not much. We have some family members coming over. They're gonna come over and watch a movie, maybe play a board game and uh, I'll probably make dinner and maybe some popcorn. Brownies, of course, nothing special. Probably just the box variety tonight because well, no good reason, okay? Ghirardelli is why. I have gluten-free, dairy-free, but people are coming over, so we need more. So then, of course, why not make Ghirardelli? <laughs> so, of course, now that I'm like, ooh, popcorn, maybe I can make a popcorn charcuterie board. Um, let me see here. I turned it to Valentine's Day. I get a lot of questions every time I share this book. It's amazing. I basically use it as a decor piece. It's called Beautiful Boards. I'll try to link it, but if I forget, you can just Google it. I know they have a popcorn one. Maybe it's a baseball one. I know there's one with popcorn, I'll say that. So I'm gonna look for it real quick. Oh, okay, it's called Movie Night a Board, and um, I'm sorry. It looks a little extreme. It's like, is anything on here healthy? Absolutely not. I'm gonna pass on that. <laughs> but then again, I make a hot cocoa board, and is anything healthy on that? No, so we'll see what we come up with. Brownies are cooking. It is so late, you guys. We put the little ones to bed and decided to wait. Um, I just popped up some poppin' corn in this sweet silicone proper popper. And I don't know, some people say they burn their popcorn in this. I don't know, man. That's never happened to me. Watch the bottoms like burned. No, perfectly cooked. I guess I'll show you how to do it, maybe? How I do it? Just a couple squirts of this great stuff. Then throw a few kernels in the lid. Pop them in here. Give a little shaky shake. Pop a top again. And straight into the filthy microwave it goes. Cook it with poppin' corn. And away it goes. 
Got some brownies cooking. Got a late start because I don't have any eggs, so our guest brought some eggs. <laughs> oh, and uh, because I feel like it, I am making a hot cocoa. <gasps> it is ready to dispense. All right, check this out. It's like a mini little K-cup dispenser right here. It takes one of these. These are recyclable, by the way. It says so right on the box. What the heck happened? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Here we go. <laughs> Take two. Hey. Now I know how all those fancy YouTubers feel, making their coffee every morning and filming it. <laughs> uh, all right, it's hot cocoa, we've all had it, but. The secret ingredient for me is a cinnamon stick. It gives it like the teeniest, tiniest tinge of flavor and it is so good. Takes it up to the next level. Check it, perfection does happen again. It's so dang hot. I'm just making a bunch of popcorn and then the kids, oh gosh, it's hot. And then the kids can season it with these things. We've got kettle corn, we've got ranch, we've got white cheddar, kettle corn is the dairy free one. And I also have the microwavable kettle corn if someone likes that and a donut. I'm making one more batch, but they can scoop it out with this handy dandy little scooper I have. I don't think another batch is gonna fit in there for now, but. I'll put some bowls out. We found this Everyone game, it's called it What Do You Meme? Alex is excited, and so is everyone else. Yes. Okay. <laughs> when Grandpa has more bald spots than hair. <laughs> <laughs> when the pool gets shut down because they found poop floating in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, okay? I'm so happy to report that my goal for getting all of the laundry done was, uh, how, how can I phrase this? I was successful. I completed that goal. I reached the mountain <laughs> that will inevitably, I'll have to climb again. The mountain of laundry. It's Everest in this house. But these clips of me folding the laundry, this is what I took before I started filming. So this is the bulk of laundry. Like most of this is from Christmas. Like there were some Christmas dresses in there and it just got shoved until, because you know, then I had another birthday party to plan and we had all those Christmas festivities. Laundry just gets pushed to like a lesser priority because we have other clothes to wear, you know what I mean? And other things are more important than folding laundry. Um, yeah, until you need clean clothes, right? <laughs> Which I definitely did because most of my clothes were dirty on my bathroom floor. So happy that we got that completed. Um, on this particular day, I decided to put my uh, Eleanor's clothes away and Wentworth's too, I think. And then Avelina's I just left in her room for whatever reason. I Most of the time they put their own laundry away, um, but sometimes, you know, I'm their mom and I just do it for them just because I love them and that's how I show my love. I'm an acts of service kind of gal. What's your love language? Because that is definitely one of mine, okay? I would love to know yours, as a matter of fact. Look, there's a Christmas dress right there. Anyway, um, wow, if you're still here, <laughs> that's all I have to say, oh, wow. Um, by the way, that's Eleanor's tidy room. She tidied it all up. And then, oh, well, I thought I filmed Avelina's, but I guess not. Her room got tidy too. There's Alex. Hi, how are you? And I'm putting Wentworth's laundry away. When he hangs his clothes up, it's hilarious. So most of the time I have to help him. Um, but he has drawers too that he throws his clothes into and it's totally fine. But for the most part, everything works out, you know? And if uh, someone has trouble, they just... They ask mom or dad, and we always help them out. And that's what we're there for, right? Um, what's her name? <laughs> Meredith on the floor. She was just sitting there playing with toys while I was doing laundry and stuff. Keeping herself occupied like the sweet little gal she is. Hello, little tootsie wootsie. Hey, turns out I hung out with you for way too long. I thought I'd be able to include everything in this one video. I filmed cooking 
and making like, I don't know, at least three or four dishes with you because, um, you know, the family get together, the family dinner or lunch, whatever. Oh my gosh, playoffs, the Bucks won the game. So who do we play next week? I don't know. Sanford, I don't know. I don't know, man, but I'm pretty sure it's at the home safety. I don't know anything. I just know that we won the game. Um, it was a good time. We had a great weekend. I hope you guys had a good weekend. We went to some zoo or jungle in Sarasota with a cousin that was down. Um, yeah, I don't know. I shared most things on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me there, like follow me there if you want to. Uh, also, subscribe here if you want to put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. I'll have to add the food clips into the next vlog or it'll never see the light of day. Bye.